Hey, I'm Adam with Adam's Welding. I got asked by a subscriber recently to do a video on how to weld studs into a plate, and that's what I want to do now. Now, before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Remember, click that little bell icon to be notified of our future videos. I have a plate that I drilled two 3 8 inch holes for the bolts to go through. I had one bolt, I left the head on and welded it to it, and the other bolt here, I cut the head off of it and beveled it to a point so I'd be able to get a better weld. I also drilled one of the 3 8 holes out to a half inch partially. And remember always wear safety equipment when you're welding or machining. Got it all mocked up and I'm fixing to weld it with MIG. First I put a tack on one side, get it tacked together, and I put a tack on the other side and go into welding it out. And it's just as simple as just filling in the excess material that you need to fill in. And you just keep going around and around till it's full. Pretty easy to do. You don't want to overfill it too much. So then I took and got the other bolt that I left the head on mocked up in place. And I started tacking it. Put the tack on either side and I just wore it around the outside of it. And you can do this on areas that uh, it doesn't have to be flush fit on the back side of it. And it works out pretty good. It's just a quick, easy way to do it. But if it has to be flush fit on the back side, you can bevel it like I showed in the other one and then grind it flush. And that's always worked for me. So these are the two studs I welded on. The one on the left is the one I left the head on, I just welded around the outside, and the one on the right is the one I cut the head off of and beveled it. As you can see, the one with the head on protrudes drastically more than the one I cut the head off of. So if space on the back side is an issue, you can always just cut the head off, bevel it, and weld it. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. I hope what y'all learned here will help y'all in some of y'all's future projects. Till next time, keep on welding, folks.